All right, a very good morning to you. I'm just uh, going through some of your feedback as far as the topic of conversation today. But hey, good morning. Happy Monday. Happy new week. I hope that you're ready to face the week and the day. And hashtag no Monday blues. I know I am dressed in blue, but listen, we are okay over here. So I hope that you are okay. Whatever you're watching us from, the show is uh, Your World. And my name is Winnie Lubembe. And today we want to talk about uh, a very special group of people. And these are the Gen Zs. But we want to take a special focus on uh, commitment. And this is all about relationships, all right? Because there has been a lot of conversation around uh, Gen Zs and uh, commitment and relationships, all right? And majority of them are actually opting for situationships. And I must admit, the more I read about situationships, the more confused I am, okay? So I don't know if... That is the case for you. But as we all know, the research has shown uh, that Gen Z's attitudes towards dating and sex have evolved from generations before them. And they take an especially pragmatic approach. This is to love and sex. And subsequently, they are not prioritizing establishing committed romantic relationships the same way their older peers once did. So this shift has given rise to the idea of a situation shift, all right? So the big question is, what exactly does this mean? And is it time for us, that is the previous generations, then those ones to come after, is it time that we adapt to the changing dating dynamics? That is what we want to focus on the conversation today. And a very simple question uh, for you this morning. And the question is, have previous generations uh, failed the Gen Zs, and this is as far as love and relationship is concerned again, uh, have previous generations failed the Gen Zs in love and uh, relationships? And before we came on, there's just a uh, sample or sampling through some of the feedback, uh, majority of you have to say, and as far as the question, uh, and that is on uh, Facebook at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on Twitter is how you can reach us. But if you want to call in live, the lines are officially open. So if you are a Gen Z watching us this morning, uh, I also want to hear from you as far as this whole situation uh, is concerned and how is it going for you and how is it working um, for you. Uh, someone says, hey, I am trying to find decent ones, okay? <laughs> um... Someone says, this is Felio Abua who says, is marriage a must, okay? And then uh, Christian Dollars Kitoso on Facebook says, no, Generation Z or Gen Z uh, have failed themselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right? And then someone else says, um, hmm. Says that, uh, this is John Flash uh, on Facebook says, the problem is that we are struggling to force Western European traditions and American culture upon ourselves and yet we cannot cope. That is the reason many relationships are messed up. And then uh, Dr. Fedora speaks, this is still on Facebook, uh, who says no love without material uh, benefits. So the question is, first of all, do we even understand what situationships are all about? So my panel is here today and I'm so happy that we have Gen Z's on board so that to have to what exactly is this situationship thing and how is it working for you? But on my immediate left, Emmanuel Gashanja, I feel like saying Happy New Year. Happy Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy New Year it's to been you a while. Yes, it has. It's been a while. But it's I'm so good to have to you. Here. Karim Busada. I'm glad to um, be here. Good to have you as well. Emmanuel yeah. Gashanja is a relationship coach and founder of Iva. We all love Emmanuel. He's just cool peeps yeah, on such conversations. And then we also have Sylvia Njue, who's a broadcast production student uh, from the University of Nairobi. But in today's capacity, you are a Gen Z. <laughs> good I to am. have you this morning. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much for sparing your time. And we also have hey, his name. Eh? I was about to call him Stephen. He says, my name is Stephane. Yeah? <laughs> Stephane, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's my name. Stephane. <laughs> since, since my name is the most complicated one here, so you can call me Stephane. Hey, hey. Stephane. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, <laughs> Stefan Nyatuga <Yeah. laughs> as a choreographer and IT student from MKU, but again, a Gen Z. So I want to hear from both of you, yeah, the situation thingy and how it's, it's working for you. Because me, like I said, the more I read, the more confused I get. I don't know what is the... <laughs> is it the it's, same it's, for you? It's very confusing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's very confusing. Yeah, because yeah. then you try to understand. So because it's sort of like a gray area, there's no commitment. But then you're not exclusive. I, I, I don't understand. But here's the thing. So I tried to read the, the um, what is it called, definition of a situationship. And they were saying uh, that is, it is an, an informal arrangement, typically between two people, that has components of both emotional and physical connection, and yet operates uh, outside the conventional idea of being in an exclusive, committed relationship. I don't know what you understand from that statement. <laughs> 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 like you said, it's very confusing. <laughs> but I think 
simply put, yeah. um, in in my generation would say that's a friend with benefits. Right. <laughs> yeah. That really is a friend with benefits. Mm -hmm. As in we we can hook up, yes. but we're not necessarily together. Yeah. We're, we, it's, it's almost like an open relationship. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm free to do my thing, but yeah. when we're together, yeah. Uh, we are together. Yeah. When we are not together, we're not you do you. So we are together, yeah. but we're not together. We are together, <laughs> but we're not together. So <laughs> I, 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 if you can understand what right? that means, yeah. <laughs> we have the Gen Zs. So what is it? What is this thing? Situationship. Like, like he said, yeah. uh, the word situationship is just a decent word for friends with benefits okay. or hook up. Uh -huh. So we are not really committed. We are here for a good time. Yeah. No strings attached. So yeah. when I go to my place and you go to your place, I'm not accountable for anything okay yeah all right uh, okay so and, and it's the fine do uh, same definition I think or is I it will, different I will, for you i will i will support sylvia uh -huh. it is a relationship uh -huh. with no strings attached okay no question asked and uh, everyone lives on his or her own when mm -hmm. we meet we do whatever we can do and live with which the ones that we can't do Okay. So yeah, it is a relationship with no question asked, no strings attached. You are not accountable for anyone or anything that everyone does. You are accountable for your own and you do whatever you want to do anytime, anywhere. But when we meet, we do the things that we can do and leave the ones we can't. So like we're boyfriend girlfriend, but we're not a boyfriend girlfriend. Yeah. We are boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we are Essentially, not, that is we what are not it boyfriend is. girlfriends. We are friends. Actually, there are so many terms you can use to define it. Yeah. There are people call it besties. Mm -hmm. There's people call it boy, best friends. Uh -huh. There are people call it some nasty words that I was. No, you can't say that. <laughs> so yeah, it is just the same way I said. Mm -hmm. No strings or such. Yeah. No, no question, question asked. asked. Yeah. No accountability. Mm. If you if I fight, I see you with another guy, I don't ask no question. If you yeah. see me with another girl, no question asked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my big question is why? Why yeah, why situationships? Is it that dating is difficult? Is it that the whole process of finding Mpoawako <laughs> is 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 tedious? Why? And, Yes, why? Because it's like we're boyfriend girlfriend, but we're not boyfriend girlfriend. But we can still talk. We connect emotionally. We mm. connect physically. Mm. But we're not boyfriend girlfriend. Like I cannot claim you and say you you're mine, and you cannot claim me and say I'm yours. Yeah. But yeah, why? So, why is it fine? <laughs> and then we'll come okay. back to Sylvia. When we when we are talking about the whys, the yeah. whys are so many. Yeah. Yeah, the whys are so many. I think this thing starts from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like. In today's generation, we say everyone is someone's ex. True. Yeah. So at one point, someone may, may would have been disappointed by someone, mm. or uh, has, had been heartbroken, or had seen a failed relationship, yeah. and several factors. So yeah, the why starts from somewhere, and then it builds from there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sylvia? Um, scared to commit. Mm. Yeah, we are really okay. scared to commit because how okay. sure am I that you have the same intentions as I do? Uh -huh. are, are you not going to friend zone me? So I don't really want the responsibility of uh, being accountable. Um, I don't want anything uh, attached. I don't want to be attached to you. Mm -hmm. So we're, like I said, we're here for a good time. Okay. And then that's it. That's yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so one thing that you mentioned, so fear of commitment. Um, I do not want to take responsibility. Uh, and how sure am I that your intentions are right? Mm -hmm. What do you make of those three statements? And then marry that with the question that we're asking today. And that is, have previous generations sort of like failed? Because this fear has to come from somewhere, no? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, when you listen, when you listen to what... Mm -hmm they have shared yeah. uh, I, I don't blame them mm. i i understand where they're at okay. uh, because when you see the order of how humanity has been it is on the previous generation mm. to pass on values okay. to the next generation right. unfortunately for us and I, I think i've said this before on the show mm. uh, from the 60s there was a movement that began where mm. people became very liberal yeah. Uh, so what that did is it affected our relationships, All right. uh, mostly for negative, not for, for not positive. positive yeah. yeah, mostly for negative. Mm -hmm. I, at least in my opinion, right. it's mostly for negative. Mm -hmm. uh, so what has happened is that a lot of this generation mm -hmm. 
has not grown up seeing mm -hmm. the, 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 the ideal relationship of okay. what a man and a woman looks like. Okay. All right. So mm -hmm. for them, what they have grown up seeing is they have grown up seeing heartache. They have grown up mm -hmm. seeing infidelity. They have yeah. grown up seeing promiscuity. Mm -hmm. uh, so for them, they know that heartache mm -hmm. <laughs> is right around the corner. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, also for the generation currently, yeah. um, they have not been taught how to be resilient. They do not know resilience. Right. I was talking to Stefan earlier on, mm -hmm. and he was saying, what's the difference between Generation X, which I'm from, mm -hmm. and Generation uh, Z? Okay. Uh, you know, G Gen Zs, um, you know, you've grown with everything at hand. Yeah. We, we, we are highly, mm -hmm. highly, information is right around the corner. Yeah. Everything, whatever yeah. you want to know. If I said a random word like vicissitudes, mm -hmm. uh, guaranteed somebody will even text, uh, uh, you know, uh, tweet right now and tell vicissitudes means X, X Y, Z. Yeah. Because we, we have Google, we have AI, we have all these things. Mm -hmm. But for us from Gen X, mm -hmm. it was a process to get, you know, mm -hmm. stuff. You know, if I wanted to learn something from, from, from a book, a word, uh, I'd have to wait for Saturday to yeah. go to the National Library, get a book. go go get a book, yeah. and hope and that the book is there, book and hope that it's there, <laughs> so, that it's there it? yes. so that I can learn. So yeah. there, was, there was process, there yeah. was patience, yeah. there was a taught resilience, okay. all right? And these are natural things that came from society. Now, for mm -hmm. them, it's microwave generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's not happening right now, I'm out yeah. until I can get whatever will work for me. Yeah. So patience. And then, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then society has become the kind of society that teaches you about a me, 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 yeah. me personal. Uh -huh. uh, so it's about my joy, my, you, you heard what they said, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's about what is working for me. Okay. All right. Now, relationships mm -hmm. is not about what is working for you. Yeah. Relationship is about what you're bringing to the table mm -hmm. so that this this can work okay okay so you and put in the work i put in the work we make exactly this work. exactly okay uh, i see that you know i was doing and just trying to read and understand the whole situation thingy and 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 why most gen z's are actually opting for the same um and, and one person was saying for most gen z's they're more I mean, yes, they're tech savvy, right? They were born into into the internet. Everything is on the internet, like you said. Even dating. I mean, you swap left, right. Yeah. You get the, the man of your dreams or the woman mm. of your dreams. Or maybe not. Mm. Um, so they're more focused on other things. So there's climate change. You know, they're, they're more like social justice. They're focusing on their careers. They're focusing on all those things. That relationship is not, it's not primary yeah. for them. So instead of, of wasting a lot of time trying to find the one <laughs> or trying to commit, so they focus on all these other areas. And then this one, so that it does not suffer tena sana, so we just get ourselves into, you know, what, what, what Sylvia was saying, situations, to just sort this other aspect of my life while I'm still focusing on this other end. But like you said, yeah. it's a coined term for friends with benefits. Yeah, and the, truth, you, is, yeah? the mm -hmm. truth is, all these things have been made yeah. much bigger than relationship yeah all right mm -hmm. uh, yet we forget the core of who we are as society yeah. is the family unit that's true so if we're not focusing on that if we are not empowering ourselves with that mm -hmm. then society will be what we're seeing right now yeah. the broken version mm -hmm. uh that 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 is out there mm -hmm. you know um, now i'm not saying that people are broken yeah. What I'm saying is... People are broken. <laughs> yeah, well, people are broken, yes. <laughs> we are but, broken. But what I'm trying to say yeah. is that the core of who we are as humanity mm -hmm. has been broken. Yeah. And so we are seeing the dysfunction that we are seeing yeah. within yeah. society. And these are the same people who are being raised but by people or families that are broken. Yes. So, so, so when, when Sylvia says, me, yeah, I'm not too sure if you come into my life, you will take care of me. If yeah. anything, you might break my heart yeah. tomorrow. The yeah. minute I commit to you, break my heart. So have, you, have you been in a, in a, in a situation too? Okay, my parents are watching, but I've not been in a situation. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't you, you can be honest. You can be honest. <laughs> I'm being honest. Though I've witnessed my friends and other okay. people in situationships, but personally, with what I've seen, I will not risk being okay. in a situation. Alright, so what is it that you've seen? So, so paint that picture for us, for a parent who's watching this morning and thinking, hi, yeah, there's this other thing called situationship <laughs> that I did not know about, right? So, do you want to just paint that picture? What, what is it? 
yeah, what exactly does it look like based on what you have seen? Okay, so this is an arrangement between okay. two people to meet uh, physically. In, uh, they are there for each other, even mm -hmm. emotionally, but yes. it's not a long term. It can, it's, it's, a, it's an undefined relationship. It is, yes. So this is not a real relationship. We're only here for a short time mm -hmm. and no strings attached. Okay. So when, when I give you what you want and you give me what I want, mm -hmm. that's the end of it until next time when you meet. Okay. So what is it that these people want? Okay. So you give me what I want, may give you what you want. What yeah. exactly is it? Okay. Keep it PG though. But, that is, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, what is it? What is it that these people want? Because you say no strings um, attached, no questions asked, <laughs> no questions answered. What is it that these people want to give each other? Uh, intimacy. Okay. You know, some people feel lonely, so I don't want to get into a relationship and mm -hmm. I'm lonely, so I want someone. Some, when I feel lonely, I want you to come over, maybe let's watch a movie. Yeah. And when you go, I'm okay. <laughs> Literally Netflix and chill or just yeah. watch a movie. Oh, you're trying to be decent. <laughs> yeah. I understand because it's PG. But you, what you're saying is mostly physical, right? Yeah. So and intercourse. Is, is a big part of this type yeah. of, uh, of an arrangement. But would you get that in an ideal setup when you talk about dating? I mean, can't you get that? Plus, you get more. <laughs> There's that emotional support, no? I think, I think ideal setup now demands a lot. Okay. Yeah. You have to, work, to be accountable like every day. You have to text someone every day. You have to make calls. Mm -hmm. You have to be accountable where you are, who you are with. Yeah. There are so many questions asked. And most of us, if not all of us, do not like those questions. Okay. I want to be me. I mm -hmm. want to focus on what the things I do. I want to associate with everyone I want. Yeah. I want to be doing my things. I want to be going clubbing alone. Okay. You don't ask me that. Who will even accept that if we were in an accountable relationship? No one. Yeah. So when it comes to a serious relationship, that accountability is involved. Yeah. It becomes really, really difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, so you, so that's, that's what you don't want. You don't want someone to ask you questions. You do not yeah, want to yeah, be out. Yeah. You don't want all those things. Yeah, I don't want to be asked questions of what I do, who I associate with, why, and where I am. No, I don't want to answer the, answer the such questions. Have you been in one? Have you been in a situation? Yeah, yeah I have been. Okay, tell yeah. us. Tell us about it. It's just the same things that I have said. Yeah. We meet. We do what we can do. Yeah. We leave the ones we can't for the next time that we meet again, which is not guaranteed. Now, my question is in terms of like the dynamics. So, do you set rules? Do you say, uh, I'll only call you when I want to call you? Uh, don't call me, pass this out. Do, do you set the rules? No. <laughs> what yeah. are the boundaries? There are no rules. There are no rules. Actually, this relationship, most of the time, it is not even. I don't know. It it just initiates in itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It just happens. Yeah, it, it just happens. It just happens. Yeah. Okay. I meet Sylvia mm -hmm. in a group discussion or something like that, or yeah. even a bash. Okay. And then we realize that there's a way that we have liked each other. Mm. We start text, texting each other after exchanging numbers. We WhatsApp each other. We meet up. We go for lunch. We go for a uh, coffee. And then next weekend can you come over to my place and then it starts to like that okay yeah. so so you don't say you know me yeah i've seen you i like you i feel some no, 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 no. about you <laughs> there's nothing like that there's nothing like that it's just initiate yourself it just happens yeah and you get yourself in you meet there. at a level ground okay and then the moment we meet at a level ground meaning the thing she likes i may like i may also like okay so the, the moment we can share certain things that we like Meaning we can do them again and again, maybe clubbing or even maybe a birthday party. Mm -hmm. We can go for another birthday. And then from there, we will have a, an, a longer conversation. And then uh, I ask Sylvia if she can come to my place. And then she, Sylvia also accepts. Yeah. And then it and then so starts the time like, that. like hey, so The way she was games? saying, Netflix and chills. Yeah. And then you come in Netflix <laughs> and chill and then chill until the chills become no chills again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you what do you make of this? I I am really trying to wrap my mind about um, around all those things. So Sylvia says, um, we just want like we meet when we meet, you know, we do the boyfriend girlfriend thing, but we're not boyfriend girlfriend. Uh, no questions asked. Me, I just want to be me. But then this other side of my life is not affected. I I, I don't know what you make of that in terms of understanding the fundamentals first of all of our relationship because like he said, well, humans were 
relationships form a huge part of who we are. So if we shove that away and say, I do not want commitment, I do not want to be responsible for anyone, you do you, let me do me, but if I need you, what do you make of that, given the fundamentals of a relationship? And like he said, there are no rules, there are no boundaries. So it's like, we're just to go to. You to go up, like, you to go to. I think, I think what many people have seen or are seeing today yeah. and the generations to come, mm -hmm. uh, they're seeing how super complicated yeah. relationships can be. Okay. Uh, the divorce rate is, is, is crazy. Yeah. Uh, the heart is crazy. Yeah. The fact that you're seeing people, you know, in infidelity, uh, left, right and center. Mm. I mean, chances are right now, if you uh click on some of the medias that pop up on your on your facebook mm -hmm. instagram whatever mm -hmm. uh it's about somebody cheated on somebody yeah. so they're divorcing yeah. you know just the other day somebody was trending who's a high profile because mm. you know the their partner cheated yes. on them that was um, just sad. and, okay. and yeah. i mean at the moment i said that you knew who i'm talking about yes. <laughs> <laughs> you knew who i'm talking about and yeah. that's thrown in our face mm -hmm. uh throughout yeah. so then how can I get the benefits, the mm. enjoyment yeah. of having the good part of the relationship yeah. without the struggle of the commitment? And I think that's what people are doing. It's yeah. the fear of the heart. Mm -hmm. I've been hurt too many times. Oh, so you want I to don't protect. want to be my. I don't want to be hurt. Okay. Uh, you know that the heart uh, and the emotions are the yeah. most deepest part of you, really, yes. and the spirit is the most deepest part of you. And a lot of people want to protect that. Mm -hmm. In fact, dare I say, even the older generations yeah. uh, that are currently in marriage, mm -hmm. the first thing that they protect themselves mm -hmm. from is the emotional pain yeah. that is being caused by their partner yeah. who they're in a long-term relationship mm -hmm. with um, and so for me I see this as one of the biggest underlying things that mm. you know Gen Z will face yeah. uh, because we are tired of the heart mm. uh, I've seen my parents most of most of Gen Z is growing up in single family homes yeah, so they have seen they have seen their parents hurting they have seen their uncles aunties mm -hmm. uh, they have seen their friends I'm, I'm like I don't want part of that yeah. <laughs> this thing in fact it is so bad that even for me, who's within the church context, yeah. the people within the church context are saying relationships don't work. Mm. So this is the ideology that we all have. Yeah. So then how can we get the good because it is a need, mm. uh, but still keep ourselves from the pain and yeah. the situationships works just fine yeah i mean just think about it you're coming we are watching a movie together mm. and enjoying we are clubbing mm. we are clubbing and we are having fun together we are drinking or we've gone to the park or we're going to do all these things mm -hmm. all these are fun things yeah. uh but once it's done mm -hmm. we are done with the yeah. the emotional emotional part we are yeah. not connecting yeah i know i can do this with uh, person x i have my five people yeah who yeah this weekend yeah on our wednesday <laughs> there's one for Nobody monday. Did the wednesday, Thursday, Friday. exactly there's the one who who, who jazzes me for school manenos yes you know and yeah. uh, we connect on that because yeah. it's a intellectual conversation then yeah. there's the one who because this one for intellectual mm. they don't like hiking yeah. and there's nani for hiking when yes. we're going to abadeas <laughs> to do the hiking you know we have a good old time yeah you know so 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 it's picking and choosing mm. the good parts and then protecting yourself yeah. from i guess the the part that really matters the mm. most yeah. yeah so so the my bigger question biggest question would be thinking about the future so what exactly does that look like in terms of marriages right because this person is like me i'm not committing to you now I'm not sure if I'll ever commit to you because what if you come and, and, and break my heart, right? Or you do this one thing that I will never get over. So then what does that mean when it comes to the future? Will we see marriages? Will we see what type of relationships will be there uh, in, in the future? And now the gen alphas are also eh, coming mm. up. Those are those ones. Hey, okay. <laughs> right? But, but um, for you, Sylvia, so you've never had this. You said your parents are watching, <laughs> 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 right? So then, do you feel forming like these emotional connections with different people, and then when they're not there, when you are alone, what does that look? What do you feel? 
do you feel emptiness? Because there's, yes, you have so many people, but you cannot say you have that one person where you connect on a deeper level. You see the way you usually feel good when you go home, you know, mm. to your wife or to your husband or to your boyfriend or to your girlfriend. There's that feeling, right? Mm. So when you are alone, do you feel like some sort of emptiness? And I think you'll, both of you will answer that. <laughs> After the break, you said there are no rules. So then <laughs> yeah. what happens? <laughs> uh, you know, to, to such type of relationship. And do you ever see yourself in a committed relationship? That's also another question for the future. Mm -hmm. But again, keep uh, connecting with us on our socials at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on Twitter. The question is, have previous generations failed the Gen Zs in love and relationships? I'll be sampling more of your feedback after the break. Stay with us. This is uh, your world. Benefits of ordering with Glovo. Glovo allows you to order anything you want at the comfort and convenience of your home. Craving fried chicken, or pilau, or pizza? Easy and simple. Order on Glovo today. Glovo. Order anything we deliver in minutes. With Glovo, you order anything you unataka and when you get it, una celebrate because kukuchoma inafika na wakati keki inafika ndo shere inaanza. Order Glovo will deliver in minutes. Show off your best skin with Nivea Nourishing Cocoa Body Lotion. Now with 5-in-1 Complete Care. The deeply nourishing formula prevents your skin from drying. With precious cocoa butter and deep moisture for smooth and healthy looking skin. Step out in confidence with our most complete care from the world's number one skincare brand. Imagine 10 people you know and love. Imagine if any of them needed blood immediately. This is a reality. Every 10 minutes, 10 people in Kenya need blood. Be it a mother in a maternity ward, an accident case, a surgery, or even a lifelong medical condition. These people need your help. Why don't you be their hero? Your timely voluntary blood donations will ensure our blood banks never dry up. Save a life today. Donate blood regularly at a county blood donation satellite near you. Changia Damu Okoa Maisha Be the lifeline. She's an art critic, curator, and a great friend. And I've been a great friend for a long time, Tadeo. The rest came after. Okay. After all these years, that woman has no right to show up here and take away from me all the good things that I've had in my blessed life. I mean, the fact that she gave birth to me just to abandon me doesn't give her the right to show up and tell me that she's my real mother. No, mother. Uh, the dinner will have three courses. When it's time for dessert, Mr. Ricci will order the house's specialty cake. And you... We'll have to put this beautiful engagement ring inside the girl's very special cake. Head over heels. Your dream home for as low as 1.98 million Kenya shillings in Vipingo Kilifi. SMS Vipingo to 22365 or call us today on 0740-400-215. Terms and conditions apply. All right, welcome back. Uh, 36 minutes past the hour, and the conversation today is all about uh, Gen Zs, all right? And we're just trying to understand, is it a fear of uh, commitment? Because most Gen Zs are actually uh, opting for situationships as compared to, I don't want to say ideal, because I think the 
ideal has sort of like changed and morphed uh, mm -hmm. over time. But the traditional way uh, that most of us grew up into or so, or maybe, you know, are doing right now, especially previous generations, is you see someone, you like them, you try to get their attention, you talk to them, you start dating, you start courting, maybe get engaged, maybe get married, all right? But now, things have changed and uh, we're finding ourselves in situationships where, like we said, this is an informal arrangement typically between two people that has components of both emotional and physical commitment, a connection rather, and yet it operates outside the conventional idea of being in an exclusive committed relationship. So to go to Apple, like we know we're in a gray area. We're not dating, but we're sort of like we're dating. It's, 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 it's very confusing, okay? So for the Gen Z's who are watching us this morning, please give us a call or just uh, share your <laughs> sentiments on our socials. Uh, that is at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on Twitter. And what you're seeing on your screen, uh, this is a story that was done by uh, one of our own, um, and that is uh, Thomas Bosire. Uh, it was on the Daily Nation, DN2, uh, Friday uh, paper. Uh, and highlights very interesting uh, perspectives here from uh, young people. Uh, and of course, one of the persons that uh, is on the article is Stefan, <laughs> who's here with us um, on set. And Stefan, let me just, no, this is Harrison who said, uh, there's someone else who uh, gave their sentiment as well and said, uh, companionship would have been a good reason for me to settle in a stable relationship. But I normally don't talk to people about my problems. So I don't need someone like a girlfriend in my circle. It was you. Okay, but oh, Harrison is your... No, okay, that, that yeah, they quoted Harrison, but okay. <laughs> that's what you said. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I, I can defend it. Yes, okay, go I ahead. Think, I think this fear of being vulnerable to someone. Okay. When you talk about your internal feelings mm. and even your personal matters with someone, you yeah. never know whatever they're going to do with it or even say to or even how they are going to expose it okay. out there where this relationship come to an end. Hmm. Most of us get into a relationship with a, an exit plan. Okay. Yeah. So the moment you are in that relationship in, with an exit plan, or maybe I didn't have that exit plan, hmm. I was very genuine. Hmm. I became open to you. Yeah. Very honest and shared with you some information that were very crucial or even close to my heart. Yeah. And then the moment that relationship come to an end or something happens, because after all, things always happen. So yeah. maybe we had a disagreement a little bit and then all of a sudden all the secrets or mm. even the important information that I share with you are out there working in WhatsApp groups, working <laughs> on Twitter. You can really become bored with that. Yeah. So that is the reason why I said I don't talk about my personal matters with anyone and it's true I don't. So that means so so then so what you're saying is then that means you do not need someone I do not need like someone to share close to you my because, intimate stories or yeah. even intimate feelings too. So so then in your view as Stefan, right? Yeah. When we say relationship what picture do you have? Because again, like you're saying, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of, you know, mistrust. Um, you don't want to ask questions. You don't, you don't want responsibility for this other person. You don't want to commit to. So, so, so what is really, like, what is a relationship according to, like, through your lens? Okay, a relationship through my lens, I think, is something that we build in order with the target of coming out with the family from yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Something long term. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So for that one, I think I can initiate something like that when I am ready. When ah, I have the okay. uh, when I have the tools that are needed. Uh -huh. If I get Sylvia today uh -huh. and then she will just be with me before someone who is better than me comes in. Yeah. So competition is But you know huge. there's always someone better than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Co competition is always huge. True. We have older men. <laughs> yeah, who are becoming a, a bit of a trouble yeah, yeah like but it is the <laughs> truth even fellow ladies yeah it becomes are boring. we <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay so so clearly uh -huh. okay so so what you're saying is when you are ready yeah you will think about a committed yeah, relationship yeah. but for now situationship works well for you for now situation shifts is the way yeah yeah for now i don't think someone at my age should be having someone that and i'm with a baby we are going to make a family you are lying to yourself because someone will always come and take that person you away from the, person you. Yeah, from you. Yeah. <laughs> the person will just move away all of a sudden or something will come up yeah yeah so there's someone outside there better than you better than me uh -huh. yeah 
Okay. Someone who has better money, better looks, yeah. better vibes. Yeah. The, not everything that I like, yeah. Sylvia will. Okay. You yeah. also said that, that when you have the right tools is when you will get into a committed relationship. Yeah. I'll come back to you to understand what exactly those tools um, look like. Hey, Sylvia, the friend of yourself, Domingi Sana. So, from <laughs> <laughs> so you, and, and, and given the background, right? Like when we started the conversation and said, these fears must stem from somewhere, right? So, so according to you, so then what makes a great relationship that maybe one day you might want to have that committed relationship? Because as of now, uh, me, I'm protecting my heart and do not want to be accountable for you and all those things that you have seen and you said, you see your friends do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so to you, according to you, how is this working? Because there are no rules. There's literally nothing that is happening to Najipata too, we get into a situation ship and then that's it. So when you think about a relationship and an ideal, ideal quote unquote relationship, what exactly does that look like to you as a Gen Z now that has sort of influenced how, you know, you interact with one another, either on an intimate level or not? So uh, for a relationship to mm -hmm. work, yeah. uh, the both of you have to be on the same page mm -hmm. and you really have to be committed, you have to be accountable, mm -hmm. you have to take care of the other person needs and mm -hmm. that feels like a lot of work. Okay. It really feels like a lot of work because like you said, I want to focus on my career, you know, there are so many expectations that yeah. have been put on me, so I, I don't even have the capacity mm. to, to invest my energy, my time and even my finances into mm -hmm. this relationship. So that has really influenced most of us to opt for the situation. situation it, it feels yeah. like a safer space mm -hmm. compared to the relationship. Okay. So in all in all senses, in all aspects. Your heart, uh, your time, your emotions and and, and, and all those things. Yeah. Is it is and remember the question that I was asking before we went on a break that so so what if you find yourself uh, in a situation where you develop connection? Not commitment, like we said, commitment is out of out. the table, <laughs> right? So you develop a connection with Emmanuel, develop a connection with uh, Stefan, and uh, you know, me. And so you, you know, you develop a connection with several people, and um, maybe you get to that level where you're ready for a committed relationship, but then none of these people <laughs> that you develop a connection with are ready for that committed relationship. Like, isn't it messy? Yeah, and yeah. no, when you start developing feelings for them, now mm -hmm. that's the end of the situation. Now, ah, okay, that yeah. becomes a relationship. <laughs> that's the end of you, yeah. And a lot of people don't even realize when they get into situationships <laughs> because in the beginning it's so cool and you, you never know you'll get feelings for them. And when you do that, the other person is moving on with their lives normally. Mm -hmm. They are focusing on their goals. They are working towards their career. So yeah. you'll be left with your feelings and in the end you'll be left empty, broken. And then you'll, you'll start telling us love is a scam. Yeah. And no one can convince Hashtag. you about love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and Emmanuel as well. Like, doesn't it get messy? Because there are no rules. There's no boundaries. There's literally nothing. Yeah. Moving, uh, moving on swiftly, right? Doesn't it get messy? Doesn't it, like, get to a point where someone will get their heart broken in as much as they find is like, I? <laughs> we're just doing what we're doing so literally there's there's nothing that will cause that that sort of like a heartbreak yeah. but doesn't it ever get to that point because i think matters I think of the heart yeah i think it's a lie that we tell ourselves yeah uh just because we block it off okay uh because there's no emotion mm -hmm. uh the truth is anytime you're with a person yeah uh it doesn't matter whoever it was yeah most of the times we form some kind of connection mm -hmm. you know intimacy whenever we talk about intimacy most people think about the physical intimacy yeah. uh, but there's different kinds of intimacy there's mm -hmm. the social intimacy there's mm -hmm. the emotional intimacy there's yeah. the spiritual intimacy mm -hmm. and and all these are actually vital long before you have mm -hmm. the physical intimacy yeah. Uh, so a lot of people think like I could come do Netflix and chill mm -hmm. and then disappear and not have a connection. Yeah. Uh, what people don't re realize is that when there's physical intimacy and sex happens, mm -hmm. the moment you achieve something called an orgasm, you mm -hmm. release a hormone that mm -hmm. actually imprints that person on yeah. you. All right. So mm -hmm. you actually do get a connection. Yeah. And the truth is, if you have so many of these connections, mm -hmm. 
it becomes impossible for you to commit yeah. even much later. Mm -hmm. So the ones who are in situationships right now, at mm -hmm. this moment, mm -hmm. and are constantly having many partners, mm -hmm. uh, these people are actually going to struggle when they get into marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also, these people, because they are doing this and making, normalizing uh, this uh, habit of, you know, physical intimacy, of sex, yeah. you know, outside marriage. Mm -hmm. These are the same people when they get into marriage, it becomes easy mm -hmm. to cheat on your partner. Yeah. And we don't realize that. We are teaching ourselves to cheat on our partner. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and it's because, you know, sex uh, is, is assumed that it's saved for marriage. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's said that it's saved for your life partner. Yeah. You know that whole thing that back in the day we had, I don't want to break my, you know, virginity. <laughs> I want the person that I'm going to be with. You know that romanticized... <laughs> we want it to mean something. Yeah, we want it to mean something. Not just any random, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so so, so it, late, it was late, meant for... Of late virginity is a red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it why is. is it it's, true. True. <laughs> it's true. It's true. That's what. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why? I'm, why? I don't know. I don't know, but virginity is a red flag. It's a red flag. Yeah, yeah. it just means you don't put out. So why aren't you putting out? <laughs> like, like, you know. <laughs> and this is interesting. Where, right? You know, it's it's interesting because even within the context of the church where we are supposed to be pure. This is actually, if you're not, yeah. uh, then there's something there's wrong. There's something wrong yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it has been normalized, yeah. and it's the way to go. Yeah. So when you don't do that, then there's something wrong with you. Mm. And I don't want to be with you. Yeah. Yeah. But again, I was saying that it's a lie that we are telling ourselves. Yeah. Uh, because that commitment yeah. means there's a connection. There's a connection, too. Uh, so, yeah. and then, you know, if you're spiritual... Anytime you get with somebody, your spirits come together, you True. become one. Yeah. So it's not just a physical act, it's mm, a spiritual, spiritual act. act yeah. So when you reap that bond yeah. and this person goes, goes away, mm -hmm. you have no idea what part of you you have left with that person. Mm. Just like you are carrying a part of that person with yeah. you. Um, and, 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 and so this now begins to bother us in life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it really <laughs> and we is. don't realize that. Yeah. Uh, but... but we do it, and because we have the assumption that this is the way I mm. want to do it. Yeah. And I'll come back to you to answer the question, the same question that we're asking. Um, people. And maybe you have, might have alluded to it uh, a little bit, and that is, have the previous generations uh, failed, the Gen Zs? Because, again, the Gen Zs <coughs> are the ones who are raised by, again, like we said, we are a bunch of broken people who are mm. walking around, right? Mm. So marriages have failed, divorces on the rise. These are the people who are... are up, not a product, but are raised by these people who yeah. are broken. Um, love is a scum, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So then, do we blame the previous generations? And is there hope to sort of like restore and all of us just going back to the basics as far as relationships and family, you know, um, is concerned? Uh, we'll come back to you for that, Emmanuel. But very quickly, hey, Stefano, this is something that, because it's the ladies, the girls, where there's a lot of pressure, majority of the times, um, right? Uh, virginity, uh, when did you break your virginity? Body count, there's a lot of pressure on the girls as compared to the men. The, the more women you have, the women, the, you know, a king, eh? <laughs> <laughs> But for the women, it's totally the opposite. So listening to us, the fans says that virginity is a red flag. Do, I, I don't know what you make of that statement. Is it true? Because you are a Gen Z. You see those things, you hear those things, you interact with, yeah. I don't agree. I don't agree. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> okay. uh, it's only that, like you said, it's so normalized. And yeah. no, when, when you tell someone you're a virgin, it's like, no, you're not woke mm. enough. You're not woke. Why, why, are you on, why are you not on our side? Yeah. So like, they assume there's a problem with you because they have really normalized it. Okay. And you don't really have to follow okay. what people say. Okay. Yeah. All right, Stefan. <laughs> so, so tools. You said you will get into a committed relationship when you have the right tools. So, what exactly do these tools look like that you have you do not have now? Is it that maybe you have not tried? Is it maybe that they're not there? Is it that there are no role models? Um, you know, for you to help you with these necessary tools that you need. Yeah, uh, I think just like. He was saying, yeah. There's a lot that we are lacking as gener Gen Z. Gen Z is okay. When we were being brought up, mm -hmm. we were told a lot of don'ts. Mm -hmm. 
but they were not do's. Okay. So we I are see. finding out the do's by mm. ourselves. Okay. And the don'ts that we were being told that we should not be doing, mm -hmm. when we grow up and get exposed into the universities and colleges, we mm -hmm. seek for doing them. And then we decide to have a try. Mm -hmm. And then we see anyway, there's something that we are missing here. Mm -hmm. So we were told a lot of do's, mm -hmm. but they were, we were told a lot of don'ts, mm -hmm. but they were not do's. Okay. Yeah. So I think the previous generation, mm -hmm. there's something that they missed telling us. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, 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 so then what exactly would that be to you mm -hmm. as Stefine that you feel it would equip you to settle in a committed really once right. you have these tools, yes. right? Because you were told that of don'ts. <laughs> okay. So what are these do's okay. that once you figure it out, then you'll be in a better place to have a committed So, so the tools, the yeah. tools, just like I said before. Yeah. A relationship and love itself it entails a lot of things you have okay. to provide and that's why i was saying there's always someone outside there better yeah. than me uh, okay. yeah financially mm -hmm. someone wants to go for vacations yeah. dinners mm -hmm. some road trips i can't afford that okay but what what is it that i'm going to get in return mm -hmm. that company that intimacy yeah i can get it from someone else without providing yeah those ones so okay. that's why i was also saying there's a lot of competition mm -hmm. i have sylvia mm -hmm. i can't take her for road trips i can't take her to vasha i can't mm -hmm. take her to diani mm -hmm. and then there's a mubaba who will come and <laughs> pick her and take her to diani so yeah. i will be you're asking yeah, you, what is that thinking that we see we see online a lot of the times mm -hmm. uh my main is asking me what what are you doing and then there's someone else who's like uh, get ready i'm picking you up at three yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i can't tell okay. sylvia that yeah. but he can yeah tell Sylvia that. Yeah. So obviously Sylvia will she be having... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So when I, when I have the right tools, yeah. well, I can take Sylvia to Vasha, I can mm. take Sylvia to Diani. Yeah. I will decide and say, I'm looking for this kind of girl mm. with these qualities mm. and then I settle. Okay. Yeah. So when, you, when, you, when you're okay financially? Yeah, when I'm okay financially. financially. Okay. Because after all, they say love is... <laughs> okay um what is oh, emotions right because because like we said I, in an ideal situation there's that physical connection and there's also emotional connection but now the thing is we're not exclusive right yeah. you have all these connections with several other people so i'm just curious have you ever sort of like been heartbroken <laughs> by, <laughs> by these situationships and, and 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 what was that like like how did it feel because like you said no questions asked no connection no nothing but at the end of the day there's that kind of emotion there's usually that connection that you will form so have you ever been uh, heartbroken everyone, or cheated on quote unquote by ev one of the situations everyone is someone's uh, ex have you? <laughs> <laughs> you? everyone is someone's ex okay and uh, when you are someone's ex meaning there was that first person whom you had a lot of connection with, and okay. then you parted away. Uh -huh. So yes, I have been at broken. Mm. Yes. Was it a situation or a relationship? That one I could, I can call it was a relationship. Oh, it was a relationship, uh, and then you were heartbroken. Because I was so attached to it, oh, no. I, 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 I was giving it my all. Okay. So it ended, and I really felt bad about it. Okay. So from then, things flipped. So that is when you decided, you know what? For now. Until I become financially stable. I, 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 no, I didn't decide. Yeah. I, it just came like, it just happened. I, 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 I don't want it anymore. So do you yeah. feel it's easier, mm -hmm. the situation versus the, like compared to when you were in a relationship and now, I don't know whether you, you are in a situation right now, but you said you have had situations you know, before. Yeah. So yeah, so compared to when you were in a relationship and when you were in a situation was the situation easier? Because like you said, relationship, there's a lot of investment, yeah. uh, you know, uh, in terms of like the emotions and whatnot. And then you were heartbroken and then you find yourself, found yourself in this other uh, end. Mm -hmm. And this is on the situation So was it easier? I, th I think relationship is more of, fun like you have a lot of connection and you understand to each other you listen to each other okay so i think relationship is better mm. situationship they're just there i think relationship works better than yeah. the situation it is only that there's always an intruder into a relationship but in your situation even if someone intrudes you don't care <laughs> <laughs> hey okay there's, there's always an intruder please put a pin <laughs> on that emmanuel we'll come back to you um so sylvia based on what you have seen 
okay, as a Gen Z, as a lady, uh, now, do, is, is, do you feel like that pressure uh, in terms of this uh, Stefan, right? And then there's Emmanuel <laughs> on this other side. Both of them are able to fulfill your needs in different ways. So do you feel that pressure to sort of like, you know what, fine, maybe for now, situationship works because you get your needs fulfilled differently. And then maybe later is when you think about a committed relationship. Do you feel there's that pressure? I know you said you don't <laughs> do the situation shifts, but yes, in an ideal uh, Gen Z world. Of course, the pressure is there. Yeah. But I also think that a situation ship will be easier. Okay. Because in, even in a relationship, you'll also get heartbroken. So why don't you opt there's for no a guarantee. situation ship? Yeah, there's no guarantee <laughs> that you're not going to be heartbroken. So yeah. I feel like the situation ship is much easier mm -hmm. and... Um, I, I don't think we can even do situationships for long. I, personally, I feel like as I get older, maybe I'll become emotionally mature to mm. invest in a relationship and okay. know what it really takes to mm -hmm. be in a healthy relationship. But for now, I feel like they're not so bad. They're not so... Would you try? Because you said you're not in a situation ship, right? I know you're trying to be very careful because your parents are watching this <laughs> morning. But would you try? Based on the fact that you're saying it's easier as compared to a relationship where you have to put a lot of investment and investment in all senses. So would you try? I think I will. If I had to choose between a relationship and a situationship, I feel like I will choose a situationship. Okay. Yeah. Why? Welcome to the class. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because Why? everything else that we've said? Why will they risk? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Never, yeah, yeah. I will not risk getting into a relationship. And plus, I also don't want so much responsibility. Like I said, uh, I feel like I have a lot on my plate. You know, there are so much expectations on me. So I don't want something that will take a lot of my energy or mm. time. I just want something simple for. Mm. Yeah. Okay. For the weekends, for Wednesdays, <laughs> for Thursdays, <laughs> maybe. Okay. Situationships are easier. What do you make of that? And does it threaten I, the future of uh, relationships or, or marriages? I honestly think, and this is just being true. Okay. Uh, if I grew up in the same generation, mm. I'd probably be thinking the same yeah. because of what I've seen around. Mm -hmm. um, and what we've seen around, <clears throat> uh, the truth is that there's no hope for marriage. Sadly. Uh, there's no hope for marriage mm. and it keeps getting worse because yeah. the truth is mm -hmm. um, even as I was thinking about what Stefan was saying mm. uh, you know when you were asking him about do you need to empower somebody with tools mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the Bible the Bible says train up a child in the way that they should go yeah. and they will not depart, depart from, from it, it. Yeah. you see our great grandparents mm -hmm. were raised in that manner mm -hmm. they were raised to be husbands they were yeah. raised to be wives okay. so when they get into this context of the home mm -hmm. they know their roles they know their part yeah. and everybody plays their part mm -hmm. it had nothing to do with love yeah. uh, now you may have picked somebody whom you think eh, mm -hmm. yeah. but <laughs> yeah. but the truth is a mm -hmm. lot of them you are told go to this clan they so and so mm -hmm. and you know uh, you hook up and, and, and it becomes your thing. So it was not necessarily about love, mm -hmm. but it's about understanding responsibility, understanding mm -hmm. your role, your part that you play. Mm -hmm. So they were raised to be husbands and wives. Okay. Now, for this generation, mm -hmm. it, I, and, and I dare say even for our generation, Generation X, mm -hmm. our parents were one of the first parents that uh, worked you mm -hmm. know, away from home. Yeah. So we were raised by house helps mm -hmm. or just around mm. so there's not that intentional uh, passing uh, on of yeah. values there's not that intentional training mm -hmm. so things that we are doing mm. we are figuring out as we as go. go yeah all right okay. so we don't have close relationships mm. with our parents who have begun to teach us mm. what relationship means what community means okay. what selfless means mm -hmm. you know among our our siblings and stuff you know mm. we are we are pretty our parents are pretty much trying to survive mm -hmm. you know i also think of myself you know i left the house mm -hmm. uh, we are the kids are on holiday but i left the house yeah. early I, I didn't see them yeah. and chances are by the time this day ends i will come back in time to tell them good night yeah uh, what has been happening yeah, yeah what has been going on in their lives during yeah. that time mm. what have they been 
you know getting into their their minds mm -hmm. and and they have gadgets you know they have mm -hmm. phones they have tablets they have yeah. tv they have so many things they have all their pals with the same things yeah. and everybody's getting information from everywhere mm -hmm. so these kids are literally raising being raised on their own yeah. and being raised by the world by the and world, being yeah. shaped by media mm. um uh, so by the time this kid comes up mm -hmm. i'll be here wondering where did i go wrong where did I go? <laughs> that's true <laughs> yeah so so, okay. so so i think marriages are greatly in danger mm -hmm. the, the more we go mm -hmm. but it's very interesting mm -hmm. that millennials mm -hmm. and gen z's are mm -hmm. probably the relate the, the generations mm -hmm that have a higher desire mm. for that companionship than I mean, other yeah. generations. Just them, because yeah. they didn't have it, yeah. and it's a deep human need, and they have a large deficit of it mm. already. Mm -hmm. So it's a craving. So but, in fact, all these things that they're doing mm -hmm. is a craving to feel to a need, feel okay. but this need will never be met unless yeah. they do it in the right context. Yeah. Unfortunately for them, they're growing with, with people different who are in the same thing, yeah. in the same place. Yeah. So they are not helping each other. So okay. when you hear Stefan saying, mm -hmm. uh, there's a Mubaba, and he mm -hmm. called me a Mubaba. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, there's a Mubaba. There's a Mubaba somewhere the competition. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. We literally yeah. need to end, end, end the show. So Emmanuel, let me, let me take that as your passing shot. Um, yes or no, as, as, as we end the conversation. So is there a future as far as committed relationships according to you based on what you're seeing now yeah okay like that's fine yes yes okay i'm happy that eventually you're like you know what in as much as they say uh -uh, maybe later yeah. something could happen all right so allow us to put a pause but again it doesn't mean that a conversation ends here uh, it continues online and that is at ntvk both on facebook and on twitter so much to say very little time but uh for now emmanuel gashanja relationship coach uh and uh founder Iva. And then Sylvia Njue, broadcast production student from University of Nairobi, a Gen Z, and as well as Stefani Nyatuga, who's a choreographer and IT student from Mount Kenya University. Please come back again so that we can we finish the conversation in terms of then moving forward, what needs to happen. Uh, but for now, I'll ask to say goodbye. My name is Winnie Lubembe. Have yourselves a lovely day ahead. So much on your comments, but again, time. In the interest of time, we cannot go through all of them. But uh, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you tomorrow morning, same time, same place, right here on your world. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye.